Okay, I'm gonna do a Dreadnought Ratting video this time. Um, you get a little bit more Isqua Hour out of a Dreadnought over a Carrier, but it's a bit more specific than Carrier Ratting in Havens. Uh, so for this video I'm gonna use a Naglifar, and I'm gonna be using it in Angel Fallon hubs. I've got a few of them in system, fortunately. Now, yeah, laugh at me, I've got a Hyperspatial Dread. Got a Burst Rater on there as well. Um, using Tech 2 Whore Guns, I've got a Tech 2 Siege and a Smart Bomb, Cat Booster, Adaptive, you don't really need too much tank for this, uh, Tracking Computers, Shield Booster, Sensor Booster, Faster Locking of Rats, Cover Track Enhancers, Damage Control, got some Gyro Stabs, I've got an Abyssal on there, so it's just a slightly better Tech 2 variant of an Abyssal. Now I'm going to then walk to a Forlorn Hub. Not that one. I'm not going to walk to that one. That's the wrong one. That's this one. Okay. So, for this, uh, for a Forlorn Hub, there are very specific um, targets you have to hit. You are going to aim to get every spawn up at once. So, first two, I'm just going to hit battle cruisers for the first spawn. There are two battle cruisers. That'll trigger the next wave. The next wave, it's got to hit a couple of elite cruisers. And then the battleships can start coming along. From there, it's pretty much all battleships until you're done. Once you've killed every battleship in the site, the site will despawn. And you can do this if you've got good enough skills within the five minutes each timer. It's a bit easier if you get caught as well. You can actually shoot stuff. Oh, I love shooting a saber that tries to tackle a, a whore dread. It's good fun. Anyway, so I'm going to land. I'm going to lock up two battle cruisers. Pop them as soon as I possibly can. I need to online everything. So the ship. Uh, lock them up. I'm not going to siege until they are locked, just so I slow down as much as possible. They're locked, I'm going to start firing. I'm going to also lock up a battleship as well on the first spawn. Because I'm going to start killing this one before I lock up the next two ships. So I've got the Archkist in there, and where's the other one? So I'm also going to lock up the closest battleship here as well. I'll start firing on that. Now you will have little frigates come in, don't worry about them too much. They will tackle you, but you're tackled anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, first battleship spawn. Now I'm going to leave the Warlords. I'm going to take on everything else. The Warlords are the ones you want to shoot last. There's a very good reason for that. Now if I hover over here, it shows that I've got an optimal range of 18 kilometers and I fall off at 55. Also, I'll be able to hit out further than 18 kilometers. I don't want anything to go further than 55. Everything goes to about 40 in total. You want to kill the things that are furthest away first, apart from the warlords, because the warlords are the ones that are going to come on, come up close and personal with you. So you're actually going to be able to kill them pretty easily after everything else. There cycle, red cycle, straight away. Wouldn't it be so good if we got tackled? <laughs> so I'm nearly through everything apart from the Warlords. There are battleships down here, we just leave them for now. They're not going to trigger the next wave. Once I kill these two Warlords, the next wave will come along. Now, obviously I'm webbed and scrammed right now. That's not a problem. There's another wave yet. I don't want to waste cap using a cap booster. Sorry, that's my bomb. Ooh, I ruined this a little bit. I should have locked one of these up and started shooting it. And then I should have reloaded. My ticks. So I have to reload after this one. I'm not going to be able to get through another battleship before I have to reload. I 
reload then. Once I've killed this wave, the site is done, so I'm gonna put my smart bomb on. The smart bomb will kill those who are webbing and those that are scramming me. Oh, someone's walked to my site. Oh. Night boy. Tap, tap, tap. Still in my ticks. At least I'm not getting shot. This is from there. She'll be strong. So I'm now on the last battleship. I've locked up all the other battleships. You can pretty easily, with good skills, with Tech 2 guns, Tech 2 siege, you can get through every battleship in the site pretty easily. This and that, I just dropped all the frigates. And one more there, I'm going to lock them up. Just find how much health he's got. Alright, now to get onto the ones that are further away. My ticks are going down because he's still in my sight. Don't worry, mate. I love you, really. You're in a Moros, my favourite dread. Moros is the best dread. I will 1v1 you and my Moros any day. Is it gone yet? No. He's hugging me. Good man. He's still hugging me. Cruises now. You get. I've I've had spawns before. I've managed to kill all of the cruisers as well, apart from the close ones. Doesn't really matter though. They don't affect your ticks too much. So I've got 23 seconds on siege left. Best thing to do: align to your next forlorn hub. Doing this, your ticks are generally around. Well, mine, I've. Uh, probably average about 65 mil. You can go up to 75. I've had the highest 75. You get a nice faction spawn as well, which I didn't have this time, unfortunately. Now that is the site despawned now. And I am out of siege. And that is going to be it for the video. I'll see you align to the next one, warp to the next one, repeat. You'll get low on cap after a few sites, so just use cap booster, pump it back up again. Anyway, see ya.